Hello everyone and welcome to the Paletti Rosa Homestead. Well, I have some news I'd like to tell you. Uh, I need your prayers. And the reason why I need your prayers is because on Friday I had to go for a colonoscopy at the hospital. Um, basically, it was just going to be to check on a procedure that was done about five years ago. I had to have a bowel resection and it was from when I, in 1986, I had cervical cancer and back then it was treated a lot differently than it is right now. So I received a lot of radiation and I had radiation implants put in and it really hurt my colon a lot. So when we moved here to Virginia, there was a doctor that my husband went and saw, and so I did also, and he told me he could fix that, and he did what was called a bowel resection, and that's where your colon, they take the bad part of the colon, which mine was about two inches, and they cut that bad piece off, and then they put it together, and they sew it together, and then you're in the hospital for five days letting it clot up and you know be repaired again so everything's been going great for five years so about a month ago I was getting some problems with some things so I decided anyway I had to go in for my checkup so Friday I went for a colonoscopy and the doctor found while he was doing it I have something inside my um, my rectum right near my vagina and it looks like the silver tip of a pen. So he's concerned about it. So we went and took three biopsies. So I have to wait until Tuesday to find out anything. But I have faith in the Lord. I trust in him. So... I know he has a good plan in mind for me, and I have faith, and I trust in my doctor, so I think everything's going to be fine. I may have to go through a little procedure or something. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out on Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, exactly what it is, but I just wanted everybody to be aware in case you didn't see one of my videos or something. Um, I will still try to do everything I can to put out a video or two a week. Um, but I'm just going to ask for your prayers. Okay? Uh, and today's video is going to be on our favorite dinner. So stick around and let's see what our favorite dinner is and how I make it. Okay? I'll be right back. So, our favorite meal here, I love making meatloaf. My mom made meatloaf when I was very young and oh, it was the best. And I've tried to work off of hers a lot. So we just love our meatloaf here. So let's get started on some meatloaf. Okay, I have got two and a half pounds of chopped meat here. Now, typically what I used to do is I would do like a pound and a half of beef and like a pound and a half of uh pork but I don't have it this time so basically I'm just doing chopped meat and I'm just putting it in the bowl right here and then you want to add two eggs to it and there are these are our fresh eggs now if you want to make this a keto you can do it and I'll tell you at the very end instead of putting one thing in you put another thing in but for now, we're not going to do that right yet, okay? So, you want four tablespoons of mustard. Now, mustard is one thing I do not make here. So, and my hands are all, there it goes. So, you want four tablespoons of mustard.
and ketchup. We do make our own ketchup here. So you want roughly about um, eight tablespoons of ketchup. I'm gonna have to go get some more. And I'm gonna put you on hold a minute because I'm gonna run upstairs and go get another bottle of ketchup. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So two. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, added to that, well, I already have uh, my two eggs, my mustard, my ketchup. I'm going to do two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. This is my Parmesan cheese. I used already my tablespoon. One, two. And now we're just gonna put in some spices, which we want a teaspoon of parsley. Uh, we want a tablespoon of garlic. We love our garlic. And that was a dummy. I just put in two tablespoons of garlic. Well, we'll have it nice and garlicky tonight. And we want one tablespoon of onion. So only one this time, Donna. Okay, now here is your option. If you want to do keto-based, you can then do pork rinds, okay? I am not doing a keto base tonight. I am going to add in, I've got some homemade uh, bread cubes and good one. And what I do is when I go to the food bank, if they have any bread that is all squished and can't be given out, or maybe some pieces have mold on it, I throw the ones away that have the mold on it and the other ones I dehydrate. This dehydrated uh, bread chips, we can give them to the chickens. We can put them in meatloaf. I can make a stuffing. There's so many different ways you can do it. Today, I'm using them in here. So I'm just going to pour them in there. Get that one that just fell on the ground. And I'm just gonna wash my hands real quickly. Just because I was on the ground and I picked that one up. And take off my rings. And now you're just gonna smush it together with your hands. Now I'll tell you, when I was growing up, this is if my mother did the bread cubes, this was one of my favorite things to do. I felt like I was a little kid outside playing, making mud pies. So if you have any young kids, get them involved. Now is the time when you got young kids to do fun things like this. And they'll love it. Then there's one other thing which I am going to add. I don't add it right away. And this is something for any of you people, any of my viewers here, that have young kids. If you, don't, if you have kids that don't like their vegetables. Go out to the store and get some frozen mixed vegetables. If you have a dehydrator, dehydrate them. If you don't have a dehydrator, put them in your oven at the lowest temperature possible. And, and basically dehydrate them. Take all the, the uh, liquid out of them. Then turn around and put it into a blender and powder. Any vegetables, your kids or anybody, your, your husband, whatever, 
if they don't eat their vegetables, this is a way to put your vegetables in and they will not know it because you really don't taste it. And basically all I do is I take it and turn it, pull it up in the air and turn it. And then press down, take it, turn it. So it's kind of like rolling it in a ball. I do not put salt and pepper in it now. I wait until we eat it. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands off. Then I'll go get my mixed vegetables. I should have brought them out in the beginning, I'm bad. I apologize. And I usually do, that's why I'm, I, I can't believe I didn't do it. There it is. And this is what it will look like. And this is what, how much you feel. I typically put in two to three tablespoons. And I promise you, your kids won't even know you did it. And you don't have to do mixed vegetables. If you're, you know, if your kids don't like something, powder it up. The only thing you have left to do then is to make it into your loaf pan. Now you could do a loaf pan or you could turn around and just, you know, mold your own pan. And I typically do not put oil in the loaf pan because it's going to get a lot of the grease from this. Now, this is a big meatloaf for two of us, but since it's not a nice day out, it's kind of on the chilly side. I don't care about putting our little mini oven on it. I call it our mini oven. It's just like a toaster oven that's got bake and broil and, and everything on it. So. so what I'm doing is I'm getting it all in here, I'm trying to get as much of the bubbles as I can out. Then something my mom always told me, make sure you take a little ketchup and put it on the top. And if, if you're not a ketchup person, use some tomato sauce. And just coat the top of it. And that is it. You are going to put this in a 350 degree oven And it's roughly 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so I will be back when this is done and I'll show you what it is. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so it's time to come out of the oven now. What I, use, what I do is when it is done and I did it for an hour, I leave it in there for about five minutes because you want to let it kind of set. Oh, it looks beautiful. And what was nice, let me get another thing, pot holder. What's nice is the ketchup on top kind of got brown, which makes it look really, oops. But it's good to get all that oil off. Or I should say the fat off. So that is what it looks like. And that's the meatloaf. And then we're gonna have some white rice. And then I've got green beans and I've got tatsoi for dinner. Well guys, it's been a pleasure seeing you again and I'm glad that I was back to be able to give you a video. 
Again, please say some prayers for me. I greatly appreciate it. And God bless everyone from the Fletty Rosa Homestead. Bye-bye.